Let's learn how to export Prometheus metrics from an ASP.NET Core application. So in this demo, we'll create a new ASP.NET Core application. We'll enable Prometheus to export the, the already created metrics, and then we'll create a custom metric. I hope you have already watched my video where I have introduced Prometheus and Grafana in order to scrape metrics from uh, containers running in Kubernetes and also visualize that data using uh, Grafana. So let's start here by uh, creating an ASP.NET Core application then by enabling uh, Prometheus in that app. So I switch to VS Code and here I have already opened VS Code on a new, uh, uh, in a new folder. But here I want to create a new folder in order to put my app there. So I'll go to the terminal, create a new terminal. And from here, I'll go to make another folder, Ankadir. I'll call, I'll call it a web app. Uh, the demo will be doing in VS Code. You can do it also in Visual Studio or VS Code or Visual Studio for Mac in order to create uh, an ASP.NET Core application. But here I go to use uh, the uh, command line. For that, you'll need to have the .NET CLI tool uh, installed on in your uh, machine. So I have it already installed. So now I can start creating a new ASP.NET Core application. For that, I'll use the command .NET new. And then I need to specify what is the template I want to create. So we can create a the console application, we can create MVC app, a, API app, or web apps that uses either Angular or uh, React. Here I want to create the template that uses the MVC. So I say .NET new MVC. This will create for me a new project. As you see here, there is some files that are uh, getting added and my project will be called uh, a web app. And here I have the typical structure for an ASP.NET Core MVC uh, application as you would have in Visual Studio or uh, Visual Studio for Mac. So once the app is created, now I'm ready to run the app. So I have a command for that, which is simply .NET run. So let's run that command, hit enter. And now the CLI tool is restoring the NuGet packages, compiling the app, building it, and then it will be uh, launched. And once the app compiles and builds successfully, from here we get two endpoints from where we can uh, access the app. Let's open this one, for example. And here we have our typical ASP.NET Core application running on port 5001. Let's now go back to VS Code and let's move to something else. So now let's go to add Prometheus and enable it from our application to be able to export uh, some uh, default metrics. So to do that, I'll use a NuGet package. Here, we need to understand that Prometheus, the development team for Prometheus have created uh, packages for uh, Java, for Python, for Go, and for uh, some other languages but they didn't create one for .NET Core. But fortunately for us, we have the community that created this uh, package to run on ASP.NET Core. So now if I go to this web page right here, we have, uh, if we go to nuget.org, we'll find Prometheus.NET, which is the package created for uh, to, to support Prometheus on .NET Core applications. And we have also another package for supporting exactly ASP.NET Core because Prometheus is supported on .NET Core, .NET Framework, and so on. So we need those two packages which are uh, available as open source projects on GitHub. And here is the page for those projects. I'll go to install the first uh, package. So here we can install from different uh, sources. Here I'll choose .NET CLI. So I'll run, I use the command .NET add package then the name of my package in order to install it in my app. So I'll go to stop my app, control C, clear, then I'll paste the command right here. So this will add that package in my app. Once that's added, now I'll go to add the second package for which is specific for uh, ASP.NET Core. Let's run that. 
And now once the package, the both packages are added, I should be able to see those inside the .cs proj, which is the configuration file for a spinet core. So here at the bottom, I should be able to see those two new uh, packages added to my app. Now I'm ready to use uh, Prometheus from within my app. For that, I'll go to configure Prometheus to start exporting metrics in my app. For that, I need to do this configuration from the startup class. The startup class is is uh, uh, where we do those type of configurations uh, for the scope of all the application. So you can see here inside the uh, configure method, we have some configure conf uh, some some configurations for the development um, environments. We have uh, some configuration for using HTTP redirections, static files, using MVC, and so on. And from here, we'll go to enable uh, Prometheus. So first of all, is I want to use the Prometheus uh, uh, NuGet package. For that, I need to add using for that package. So I'll go to add uh, using Prometheus. That's the name of my package. It's actually Prometheus. Yes. Then. Inside the configure method, at the beginning of that method, I'll go to uh, use the app in order to access the extensions that are created. And here with app, I have an extension called use uh, Prometheus uh, use metric server. This, uh, this uh, method extension comes from the Prometheus uh, NuGet package. So, from here, I'll be able to export my metrics. The metrics will be exported on a public endpoint, which is by default uh, slash metrics. But you can, of course, go to change that uh, endpoint to any other uh, endpoint you want. Here, I keep slash metrics. I'll save the changes. And now I'll go back to my terminal and run again the command uh, .NET run. Once the app runs again, now if I go back to my uh, application, now I go to uh, the URL slash metrics. And from here I see that I have a list of metrics that are uh, available through using the uh, Prometheus NuGet package. And those metrics, they will uh, count, for example, or it's the, uh, they will monitor the startup time in seconds, they will monitor the uh, process that are open, um, private memory used in my app, and lots of other uh, data uh, that is useful for uh, monitoring. This list of uh, metrics are actually extendable, so I can add some custom metrics to uh, this list here. And that's what we'll do next. So we'll create our own uh, m uh, custom metrics. This metric will be a counter that will count the number of page views for my index page. So let's create that custom metric. So here I'll go to the uh, controller inside the home controller where I have the index method. This one will be, um, uh, will be executed in each time a user go to hit the index page in my app. I want to use the, the Prometheus NuGet package. For that, I need to add that package as a using. So from, uh, using uh, Prometheus again. We'll create a new counter of type counter. And here counter uh, will be called counter in our code. Then equal, here we'll be using the matrix uh, class available on uh, Prometheus API. This class is the one that will uh, 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 create for us the uh, different metric types, whether those are counters, gauges, uh, graphics, and so on. So here I'll go to create a new counter. So I'll, I'll use the method create counter. A counter should have a name. Here I'll call it my counter and it should have a description that will be used inside the, uh, uh, the matrix uh, endpoint URL. So let's say here this is index page counter. 
So this, this is in order to create a new counter. Now we want to increment the value of that counter and each time a user uh, hits my index uh, page. So for that I'll go to the index method and from here I'll access my uh, counter dot increment. We have of course another method for decrementing the counter and for getting the actual value of the counter and so on. So that's all. Now I save this page and go to run again the command .net run. So with those two lines of code we were able to uh, create a custom metric then increment it in each time the user hits the index page. Now if, I, if we go back to the URL for our application available on localhost right here and if I go to refresh I should be able to see that there is a new counter added to the list but actually no one was added right here. Why? That's because I didn't access it the, uh, the controller that will create the counter for us because this counter will be created when I access the home controller. So let's go to access the home controller. I go to duplicate this page go to uh, the base URL for my app and here I'm inside the uh, home controller. Now let's go to refresh the page with some few clicks. We go back to the slash matrix endpoint URL and now if I go to reload the page now I could be able to see that there is a new counter that was created in this list of uh, metrics and the value is 17 that's the number of the counts that I hit inside the uh, index method and here we have the description for that counter. So it was this simple how to enable um, Prometheus metrics from inside an SPNet Core application and even more than that we have created our own custom metrics and we exposed that uh, from a public uh, URL. Follow me next where we'll go more with this demo in order to uh, containerize this application then we'll deploy it into Kubernetes cluster and we'll install Prometheus in order to scrape those different metrics to be able to see them later on uh, Grafana uh, dashboards where we see different uh, uh, views, different graphics that will show us the uh, evolution of the number of uh, views. While waiting for those videos to come up, please go to view the application's source code available on uh, this GitHub uh, repo right here, Web App Monitoring. And don't forget to subscribe and to watch my videos about anything DevOps uh, microservices, uh, cloud, and so on. I have also some courses on Udemy. If you are interested in, you can email me and they'll send you a free coupon. And they'll be happy to do that. I hope you liked this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.